In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can emulate any prop on a matrix. So imagine you've downloaded a sequence, you've purchased a sequence, and it has a prop that you don't own, but you, you know, you really like the effect. So, but you do have a matrix and you think, well, I, I would like that effect on a matrix. So that's what we're going to achieve here. So for this example, I'm going to use a rose a reef. So you can see here, I've just dropped a few effects on a rosa reef. And you imagine this was the original sequence. And we're going to make this work on a matrix. And it's nice and simple. Uh, once you've uh, created it, go to the actual prop in question. Okay, the one that you want to emulate. You would be doing this in the original sequence. And in this case, it's the rosa reef. You then right click. And you can then say model render and export if you've already rendered it you can just export but I'm going to render and export and what you want to do is choose uncompressed AVI and I'm just going to put it on my desktop as Rosarif 1 and say save Rosarif 1 I click OK and it's now going to render that as a video. So just remember this effect here. And now we'll go to a matrix. And close this down. So I've got the matrix here. And now I'm going to drop a video effect on the matrix. And I'm going to load that AVI file I created. Okay, there it is on my desktop, Rosa Wreath 1. And there you go. You can see that I have got that same effect running on a matrix. Obviously, remember that your matrix will be have, to, have to be sufficient density to be able to, you know, look really good. But you can see it's working quite well in this case. And you can do this with any prop within reason. Okay, what I do suggest you do is don't leave it as a uncompressed AVI. Uh, if you want to follow my other tutorial about optimizing videos, you should optimize this and convert it to an MP4. But I hope you find this useful and until next time, see you later.